Hey traders, Akil Stokes here. Just wanted to give a quick recap of some of the highlights we had in the live ratio room yesterday. Now again, wasn't a very uh, busy day. We actually only took two trades, or we took uh, took three trades yesterday. We had two winners, one one loser. And uh, if you watch this upcoming week uh, weekend review video, I'll go over that in more detail. But want to highlight one of them. Euro yen. We just had a winner. Um, we hit first targets for about 50 pips and came very close to, uh, to hitting target twos. In fact, if you have the rule and, you know, if you were up as well, if you have the rule where you can drag your fibs down and change targets uh, with that, then you probably would have been hit for, for target two. I don't have this rule on this specific pattern, um, so unfortunately we have to wait to see. But, of course, my stops are protected. But I wanted to take this time to just give you an example of the importance of stops. And again, a lot of rookie traders or a lot of new traders, the mistake they'll make is they'll play stops right under structure. You know, they'll say, all right, here's our X leg for our Gartley pattern. We're going to put stops right underneath. And, well, a lot of the times, as in this case, they would have been stopped out. And we took a lot of time in the room yesterday to really discuss where is the best place to put stops. And I actually had two areas. Now, me personally, I use a, an ATR based stop, uh, either between one and two. You know, so we talked to the traders in the room. I drew out a line. Here's one ATR. This is where a one ATR stop would go. Here's where a two ATR stop would go. Where is the best place to put it? Closer, further, in the middle, and that also deals with where your, uh, you know, where your targets are at too. If you want to keep that one to one risk reward ratio, but you can see that having that smart stop paid off. The market spiked up, hit structure. In this case, targets were in that structure. Came back down spiked below however because we have safe stops you know we didn't get nipped out by this trade and I'll, and I'll tell you time and time again this is what the market wants to do the market knows that the rookie traders or the newer trader stops are hiding under here and I, I swear the market has a mind of its own and it will come down here just to try and get you before rallying back up how do I notice well I've made this mistake plenty of times in the past I've been that trader that that's had it here been stopped out and been mad and oh man I would have had a winner if I only had it five more pips lower and you know woulda coulda shoulda you know doesn't make you profit so discipline paid off in that one we had another winner too not as big uh, about 26 pips on target one on pound dollar same type of pattern we had a bat pattern uh, nothing real spectacular about this uh, pretty much a pain free trade but another good day in the room about 70 something pips uh, actually minus the 26 about 50 pips in the live room wanted to also give you a heads up at what's what's on my radar for today we do have the cypher uh, early in the morning get my words right we do have the cypher portfolio there we go looking at New Zealand dollar for a potential cypher pattern down at 83.47 I'm also looking at the pair I swore I'd never watch again but looking at dollar yen I think 60 minute was dollar yen for potential cipher on the 60 minute and then there's a, a euro pound one as well that isn't as clean so hope you guys enjoyed this quick video again as always i'll be back uh, either later this week or early monday with the live room weekend review for a full wrap-up of how our week went take care traders